In this episode, we look at adaptation. Hi, boys and girls. At the end of this week's lesson, you will be able to explain the phrase adaptation of organisms to their environment, explain how organisms are suited to their environment, and complete at least four of the activities at the eight learning centers. In the previous lesson, you observed pictures of different environments. The adverse, that is, harsh conditions of some of these places allow organisms to develop certain structures and behaviors to survive. Figure 1 shows three conditions that allow organisms to develop certain structures, that would be body parts, and change behavior to adapt to their environment. Figure 1, the terrain of land, food, and climate. So these are things that would cause changes in how an animal behaves because of the land, because of the type of food, and because of the climate. It would there would be changes in behavior or and or changes in their body to adjust to the type of land, the type of food, and the type of climate. In order to have an advantage for survival, animals develop structure or body part to, one, locate food. For example, a giraffe's neck allows it to eat leaves from tall trees. Two, protect them from predators. For example, a deer is colored in the shade of brown that allows it to blend in with its surroundings and prevent predators from seeing it. 3. Keep them cool. For example, an elephant's large ears act like fans to keep it cool during the hot climate. 4. Traverse through the terrain of the land. For example, a camel's wide footprint and thick leathery soles assist it in balancing and protect it from the harsh desert terrain. When animals cannot adapt to changes in their environment over a period of time, they die out or they become extinct. Engage. Discuss how behaviors of some animals allow them to adapt to the harsh conditions of the environment. I want to, to, to bring your attention to one. All right, so that little piece was about the sidewinder snake and it moves in a particular way that prevents itself from, you know, being under hot desert sand, okay? So only two parts of its body will touch the sand at any one uh, point and that also allows it to move quickly as compared with other snakes in that particular, um, you know, environment. So it says here, uh, so we did that one already, the adaptations there. Let's go to the explain section. Let's see if I can get this a little bigger. No, that's as big as we can get it. It says the circle at figure two, this one here, shows four types of environment and an example of the animal in each environment. While the four rectangles, so four rectangles here, mm -hmm, so one, two, three, three and four, those rectangles. The four rectangles, rectangular shapes rather, show the structure or body parts that help each of the animals survive adverse conditions in their environment. So let's look. So we, in the desert, we have a camel and it has leathery lips that allow it to eat thorny bushes. We have in the forest a porcupine that has sharp quills used to defend itself against predators. We have in the savanna a zebra. Uh, the stripes help to confuse its predators and allow it to escape. And then in the rainforest, we have a frog, which has a long tongue that helps it to catch its prey. The prickly spines on cacti 
are adaptations that prevent many animals from eating them. Identify the animal in figure 2 that has body parts that are adapted to allow it to feed on cacti. Justify your answer. So is it the, 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 the camel? Is it the frog? Is it the, the zebra or the porcupine? You would tell us which one. Let's extend. Let's go further. Figure 3 shows two organisms that adapt to their conditions in their environment. It says complete figure 3 by writing beside the number how the organism adapts to the environment and beside the letters write a reason for adapting. So we have the chameleon. How is it adapted to its environment? So we have to know that the chameleon is a type of lizard and it changes color. Okay. And then the hummingbird. What's special about its flight, its body, that allows it to adapt to its environment? Finally, now, complete at least four of these activities. It says... One, explain the phrase, adaptation of organisms to their environment. Two, find out the names of two organisms that use their body structure or body parts as an advantage to survive adverse conditions in their environment and name the body parts. Okay, so like a polar bear has strong uh, legs that allow it to swim. Polar bear also has fur that helps to keep it warm. Um, it has claws that it used to it uses to hunt its its prey like seals and so on. Right? Uh, it has a very good sense of smell because it can smell a seal sometimes even under under the ice. Right? And they say over a mile away, they can smell the, their, their prey. Okay? Next one. Changes in their behavior to allow them to survive adverse conditions in their environment. Um, describe the behavior as well. The body link section, no, from the Rex Nettleford Center. In areas of limited soil, the Venus flytrap plant develops structures to get food. Design a model of the Venus flytrap plant. Use resources available to make a model of the Venus flytrap plant that you designed. On each leaf, make some teeth. Can you imagine a, a, a plant with teeth on the leaves? Then make uh, models of small insects and throw them on the leaves. Do they stick to the leaves, manipulate the leaves so that they shut when the insect touches them. Dr. Agrian's center says make a journal entry expressing your view on the ability of organisms to adapt to their environment. The Edna Manley Center picture link says download images of organisms that use their body structure or body parts to survive harsh conditions. Uh, change their behavior to survive harsh conditions and make a carousel of these images. Number link. Access the internet and download a picture of a water bear, a moss piglet. According to National Geographic, water bear, the moss piglet, can survive extreme heat and cold. It will survive at temperatures as low as minus 273 degrees Celsius and as high as 150 degrees Celsius. Justify the outcome of the water bear if it finds itself in water for 30 seconds as soon as it begins to boil. So shall, that, that's an interesting one. We should really look at this one. Social link, use a digital device and capture images of the models of the organisms that you made and share these photos with your class. 
via the WhatsApp group. Uh, NatureLink collects stamps of cactus plants with physical structures that give them an advantage to survive in adverse conditions. We don't want you to take any of these plants to school because of the prickles and thorns that could become a problem to everyone else. All right, guys, that's it. Complete the activities as best as possible, and we will see you in the next episode.